All right, what's good guys? So this is the long anticipated video. Um, this is probably the best of five that I'm the most excited for and I've ever been excited for. It's kind of the ultimate like expo versus expo battle. Um, so yeah, we're going up against Aragon here. And yeah, hopping into the first game here. Obviously I'm using Ice Bow. Um, he's using 3.0, I think. So we're gonna go Ice Wiz on top of this Ice Spirit right here. Um, these games are gonna be very close and very intense, I can already tell. So I'm just gonna go Expo right away since I do have the Ice Wiz coming down. Um, He's probably gonna go Tesla. Yeah, he actually goes Archers and Tesla, so that's fine with me. Um, I'm just gonna go Knight low, I think. It's okay to sack my Knight here since I do have the Rocket um, and Skellies in cycle. Obviously, so... Mm. I'm actually gonna go for a Tesla on top of this Expo. And then Ice Wiz to the side here. Log to hopefully clean up the rest. Yeah, okay, we should be shown. Um, I don't think he can get... Actually, he probably can get damage right here. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with a um, Tornado last second so he doesn't get a lock on. I might be down one or two Elixir, so I'm gonna try and like play my Rocket if he goes Expo right away. But yeah, I think we're okay. Um, I'm really freaking nervous for this best of five for some reason compared to all the other ones. Um, maybe just because it's Expo Mirrors and also like this is like... I'd say he's probably at least one of the one of the very best expo players in this game. Like, if if not the best, to be honest. Um, so I'm just gonna go with Rocket Skellies on top of this expo tank. That one little chip damage doesn't really matter. Um, he's gonna have to respond to this knight probably with some skeletons. If I had to guess, yeah, he does go with Skellies. I could have logged, but I don't think it's worth it in this scenario. I'm just gonna tank that ice spirit. Not gonna overcommit on that. And then just log the tower here for chip. Um, I'm glad he's going opposite lane. I'm not sure why he's doing that, but I think that it's better for me. Um, if we play opposite lane. He's gonna fireball this ice boost, which is completely fine. I can just go with the defensive expo now. He's gonna go with his own. Um, okay, I tried to make a cool play there and, like, make sh and pull his knight out of range, but, um, all we did pretty much was allow that expo to connect to our expo. Like, I didn't pay attention to it. Um, walking onto my expo, so that was definitely my fault right there, but we're chilling. I'm just gonna go with the log. Maybe we should start playing into the lane that he wants to play into. Um, maybe it's actually better for him to go opposite lane now that I think about it. But I'm just gonna go ahead and he's gonna have to respond to this um, Knight Ice Wiz with something still. I'm actually gonna go with an expo. He's probably gonna Knight Tesla. Yeah, he is. Um, I'm gonna log, but I'm definitely not gonna break through on this push. So I'm just gonna let it die now. He's playing a lot of Elixir on it as well, so I can definitely just let it let it go. And then he'll probably go Expo 2 with this since he does have a Tesla. Um, let's see if he goes. Uh, looks like he's not going to. So I'm just gonna cycle my Skellies and then set up in the, a defensive Expo where he can't Fireball. Um, I'm just gonna just Fireball the other tower. Ice Wiz gets one shot on the right lane there. Gonna go with a Knight in the back. Um, I think we're in a decent situation here. Definitely could be either of our game right, either of our games right now. Um, so we're gonna go Ice Wiz up high. Um, he's gonna go Archers in the back. I need to get back to my... Uh, I'm gonna just nato these, actually. Pull these in. Yeah, nice. We catch them before he plays the Knight, so that was, like, perfect timing. Gonna Tesla as well for this Knight. And he goes for... Oh, no. His finger slipped or something right there. He plays an Expo where I can rocket it. Definitely not what he meant to do. Um, kind of unfortunate for him. I don't want to go Expo on offense off, honestly, because, um, he's just gonna get a free Fireball out of it. So I'm gonna go Defensive Expo again right now. And then just nato for this Archer. Cycling Nados on tower is actually really good in this matchup because you need to keep your cycle like in check. And if you don't do that, you can get in an awkward cycle pretty easily. I'm just gonna go Knight to the side here and then, um, honestly, I'm gonna go with an Ice Wiz Tesla on top of this and not go for the rocket. He goes for Tesla as well, just log. And yeah, we're vibing. Um, so easy, or pretty easy defense on that Expo particularly. particularly. I'm just gonna go defensive Expo in the middle again. And then I think we're in a good scenario to win this game, to be honest. Um, take take game one, as long as I don't like make any mistakes. Obviously, I suppose really, like, you can get so much damage at the end of the game. So, um, honestly, Fireballs, what is he doing? Oh my, he went way too aggressive. Um, oh my goodness, yeah, he went way, way, way too aggressive here. I'm going to definitely win the game now. He doesn't have anything for this. Um, if, even if he plays a knight, like, he's still kind of screwed because I can just spam another expo once I get one. Um, he's down, like, 50 elixir right now. So I'm going to go another expo. He has to play an expo on zero. Yeah, my expo is going to lock on his, and we definitely win the game. There's no way he can defend this. Like, I, I don't believe it. Um, we're going to log these archers. And this knight's going to die. He's going to Tesla, which is fine. I'll just go for a rocket now. Even 
yeah, he has to uh, defend that expo still too. Yeah, so those two Gs, even if he would have um, somehow managed to stop the expo from connecting, the rocket still did enough damage to win me the game. So pretty solid first game there. We actually take the dub. Um, he did make that one misplay with the expo, so obviously he's not like you know it takes takes us a game to get warmed up and start playing cracked out of our minds. So that's gonna be one zero for me. Definitely important to get the advantage over Aragon because he's absolutely cracked. Um, this man's like number one in the world consistently with expo or at least like top five or top ten more than any other expo player i'd say so yeah we're gonna just get into the second game here yeah currently number seven in the world pretty nuts um you don't really get much better than this so yeah we're in the second game here i think he's playing queen bow in this one i said think he said he wants to switch up the decks that he's using so good just gonna go skellies on top of the ice spirit um log for the tower right here Queen is honestly pretty tricky to deal with with Ice Folk. I'm not really great against the matchup yet because um, I haven't played it. I've played it a bunch of times, don't get me wrong, but I haven't played it quite as much as 3.0. Um, obviously, because 3.0 has been around in the game longer. So he's going to go with a Queen in the back. Kind of unlucky timing that I played the Ice Fist at the exact same time. Um, I probably just would have went Tesla on the bridge or um, Expo on defense if he did a Queen. So he's going to play Valk as well. Um, I kind of have to defensive expo. My cycle's really awkward right now. He actually rockets it, so I'm in a pretty bad hand. Um, I'm gonna have to burn the knight though, unfortunately. I don't have much of a choice. And, yeah, this is not great for me. I'm gonna go skellies on top of the queen, I guess. And hopefully he doesn't expo right now, because I do not have enough elixir to defend it. Um, yeah, he does expo. He knows. Of course he knows. Um, so he's going to get the, all that expo damage right there, like 300-ish, 350-ish. And then I also have to tank this Ice Spirit, unfortunately. Green is a little bit more tough if you're down in single elixir. Um, with 3.0, even if you're down like 3-400, you can come back with rockets. But he also has a rocket, obviously, so it's going to be pretty tough to catch up on damage. Um, but yeah, he definitely played that start really, really well. So I'm just going to go Ice Spirit in the back now on the right. He goes for a queen in the middle, um, yeah, these are, like, the queens kind of put me in awkward hands. I guess I'm just going to go with the defensive expo again. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't feel like a good play, but, like, I don't really have much of another option. So, we're going to go with... Okay, nothing, because he's going to let that die. I figured he would uh, activate ability, but he doesn't. So, we'll go knight in the center now. Okay, yep, we're gonna lag a little bit here, and then I'm just gonna go with a rocket. I'm not gonna risk anything. Okay, we catch a nice spirit, not bad. I was hoping we caught like a knight or something, or a Valkyrie, I mean, but we do not. Um, he's gonna just rocket again. Yeah, he's doing a good job of keeping up with my cycle to rocket my expos every time. I'm gonna go log on the queen, and then also tornado because I don't have anything else in cycle, and I'm not burning a knight on that for sure. I'm just gonna go with my skelly cycled. Um, Knight low, and then honestly, okay, I think we're all right. Honestly, he's probably gonna queen this. Yeah, he does actually. So he's gonna pop ability now as well. I'm actually gonna go X by the lane, and then knight at the bridge to block for a cannon. He goes for a cannon in the back or in the middle. I mean, um, and then he just rockets. Yeah, this well played again. He's playing these defenses like really, really well, and definitely like switching up how he's playing it. So. I'm just going to go Ice Fist in the back again. Um, I guess I'll cycle my log and then go for a defensive expo because I think we did outcycle him maybe. Yeah, he's going to go defensive expo too, unfortunately. So, okay, goes Valk. Oh, I should have put my Tesla on the other side. That was a stupid, like a freaking blonde moment, dude. Um, I'm going to go Ice Fist up high and then log the cannon and the expo. Okay, both our expos are gonna die out here, so neither of us really get an advantage from this. He's playing a little bit too much elixir on that defense, I think. Um, but he does go with another defensive. I'm gonna definitely not play a rocket on this one because I already have a Tesla set up here. Um, so I'm just gonna set up another. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait, wait, Skellies. Holy cow, that was really close, actually. He's gonna log, so I'm gonna log too. That was an insane rocket. I did not. Definitely caught me off guard. Um, but I think I can go for a defensive expo now since this rocket is at a cycle. Um, he's gonna have to play like at least one more card, right? Okay, is he back now? No, he's got one more card. Okay. I'm gonna rocket this Valk. Okay, he actually rockets my Expo. That's not good for me. Um, I figured he would rocket my Tower, if anything. So now we're kind of in an awkward situation. He goes for a defensive Expo. I'm just gonna NATO log this and then probably play an Ice Boost in the back here, same lane. He might rocket this. 
Uh, I don't know what to do, I'll be honest. I kind of have a bad situation because I can't like play anything into the um, expo, obviously. So I'm going to have to log this queen. And I don't know what to do. Maybe I just go for a rocket. Yeah, he's going to rocket as well, though. Um, 20 seconds left. I think we lost this one. We played pretty good. I kind of like put myself in an awkward situation. Going to go knight up high. Yeah, there's no way I lock on, um, unfortunately. I'm going to this falcon as quick as I can and then log for the expo though. Maybe we can do something here. No, it's over. And yeah, he gets a rocket down as well. So, yeah, he still gets a cannon too. So that was well played by him. Definitely, like, dominated that game. Um, that that play in Triple X where he just, like, set a cycle uh, an expo on defense instead of going in, like, when he didn't have rocket in hand. That was definitely a good play because I didn't have, like, any elixir. And I also couldn't, like, Rocket was, like, three cards out of cycle, so I couldn't punish him for that expo. So, yeah, that's going to make it 1-1. Uh, really put the pressure on now. Like, I got to I gotta perform. I can't um, take any games off. So, yeah, I think that he's going to play Ice Bow in this third game. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have a mirror matchup in this one. Hopefully, I should win this. Like, at least I, I mean, I at least should win this because I play the deck, obviously, a billion more hours than he does. This specific deck, I mean. Um, so gonna go ice was in the back mirror matchups are pretty tough but i think i genu generally know what i'm doing um he's gonna go with an ice was i'm just gonna cycle my knight the key is kind of to protect your ice wizard it seems like a little bit weird but it is like a good play to just like stack at the bridge i'm gonna go tesla to kind of start dealing with everything and then i'm probably gonna honestly go expo other lane here because he spent a lot of elixir on that uh just on all of that he gets a rocket down. I should have waited maybe like one more second on that expo so I could have got more damage, but it's okay. We still get like a couple hundred. Um, this ice was though. I'm just going to go for a log on top of it. I think it's key to like never defend with rocket and single elixir because they can't defend your... Um, what's it called? They cannot defend your knights at the bridge, like knight teslas or knight ice wizards without like over committing really badly. Um, I've definitely tried before and it doesn't work out too well. So Ice Wiz is actually going to get two swings on this left side. Um, so it kind of evens out both damage, both of the tower's damage for me. So I can, um, kind of go either lane right now. Obviously, I don't know if you guys have watched me enough to know that I prefer to go in the left lane, um, personally, but it doesn't really matter. He's going to just cycle a NATO. I'm going to go right lane since I do have more damage here. Um, we'll go for a knight in the center here. Alright, he's gonna do the same. I'll just go probably Tesla. Actually, um, I'm gonna go Ice Boost Tesla on this expo since he did play the knight other lane. You can never go in with an expo when you played your knight because it's pretty much like dead. There's no way you can protect it. Um, so I'm gonna go with an expo on zero probably here. Alright, I'm actually gonna wait a second because he might do something. Okay, he doesn't for that Ice Boost. He bugs a little bit late. I don't know if he just like lagged or something, but um, he's gonna have to be forced to rocket here. He rockets the Tesla and the expo, so good rocket by him. Um, we'll just go skellies to surround this, and then ice was in the back. Um, cycle my knight up high here too, and then probably... Okay, he actually goes for a defensive expo. I'm going to rocket that right away. I did not expect him to do that, if I'm completely honest. Um, so he goes for a knight, that's fine. We'll just go for a log on top of this to help damage it down, and then looks like we're going to switch into this left lane here from now on. He's going to NATO, which is completely fine with me. Um, he might go for another defensive. Yeah, he does. So I'm just going to rocket it again. And then... I'm actually going to NATO log this Ice Wiz in just to make sure it dies. I don't want to deal with it later on. He's going to be forced to play a Knight up high. I'm going to go for a defensive expo now because he's probably going to go offensive. Okay, no he's not. I'm um, just going to rocket my expo, which is fine. Uh, we'll go with the Ice Wiz low. Oh, kind of an interesting NATO by him. I don't know if I agree with that. I think I'm up. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely up enough elixir. I'm just going to rocket this tower. Um, this is maybe the turning point in the game here. He's going to go in really hard, but I'm definitely chilling. He's not going to NATO this because he doesn't have quite enough elixir. Um, he goes for an ice whiz. I'm going to actually get a really nice log here on all three. I know I know that he's going to get a lock on my expo, but I think I'm still chilling if I just go with my um, ice whiz low. Skelly's to pull this over. He's going to try and NATO that ice whiz, so I'm going to go knight up high. Um... Yeah, he does go for the NATO a little bit late. Maybe he didn't have enough elixir. But, yeah, we're chilling here. Um, probably gonna go... 
Oh, he's gonna expo on defense. That's a mistake because now I can rocket his tower since we're almost in triple. And obviously we have the same elixir cost deck, so I can cycle back before he can do anything really. So I'm gonna take a NATO in the log on tower just for damage to make sure I stay up like big time. Um, cycle my skeletons as well. Ice was in back. He's probably gonna go expo here. I'm gonna go with my own defensive expo right now. Oh, what in the world? Um, okay, I'm uh, gonna take a nice log here. Kind of a weird play by him. I don't know if he meant to play it in that tile, but yeah, we're gonna go with an offensive expo here now. He's overcommitting way too much on this defensive expo. So yeah, he's gonna have to rocket. Um, so that pretty much pretty much secures me the game. 20 seconds left. All I need to do is rocket twice. Gonna go for a prediction Tesla at the bridge. Um, yeah, he goes expo, so there's no way this breaks through. I have way too much defense right now. Gonna go for a defensive expo too, just to make sure. And then a second ice boost to the side here. He actually goes for another ice boost at the bridge as well. Um, but yeah, there's literally no way he can defend this. I just pull my pull my expo up with, two, with the uh, or pull the wow, what did I just say? Pull the knight back with the mid right there, and the expo dies. So yeah, two seconds left. We win this game. Um, he made it pretty close. He played pretty well, honestly, for the mirror matchup. It's a really difficult matchup to learn. Like, most people don't know what they're doing, and they just kind of panic and, like, rock it at a bad time or play too aggressively with the Expos and end up losing the game. But, yeah, that's going to put me up 2-1. So, definitely, um, definitely in for a tight finish here. And he's going to be back to 3.0 now, so, um, see if he can get redemption from that first game. 3.0, I feel like I got a little bit lucky from that first game, um, so I'm definitely not, like, 100% sure I'm going to win this one. But yeah, we're going to definitely do our best to close it out in this game and not make it go to 5. Because, uh, yeah, that means I'd have to play against Queen Bow again, and that is not uh, not what I want to see. So, just going to give him the good luck here in Game 4. Kind of, like, nervous for this game for some reason. Don't know why. Um, kind of the same start as Game 1. I'm not going to um, do too much here. Just going to Ice Wizard on top of that Ice Spirit. He goes for a Log. I'll just probably play Knight in the back. Yeah, he goes for a Knight as well. Uh, I'm gonna rocket and then skeletons on top of this. Hmm. Honestly, he did play knight, so I'm just gonna go with an. Oh, that was a really good prediction by him, actually. Uh, yeah. Shoot, that was definitely a mistake for me. He does play the um, knight in front too. Huh. This is not a great situation. I'm kind of like down elixir here, I think, because he did predict that expo really well. Um, Ice Wish cleans up the archers. Luckily for me, Ice Wish does a really good job right there. Um, but he might be able to go in. We'll see what he likes to do. Yeah, he's going to go in. I'm going to go Knight Low first because I think he's going to predict one. But then I'm going to go Tesla. Oh, no. Did I just lose? Yeah, I think I just lost. Um, I should have went just Knight Tesla at the bridge right away, I think. Yeah, he logs. I don't have anything. No, this is this is not good, boys. Um, he's going to get a big lock on here. I don't have anything. I'm just going to give him the good game right now because, honestly, that's pretty much game. Yeah, if you ever get a big block on like that, it's pretty much over right away, especially in Expo Mirror matchups. Uh, but yeah, we're still going to try. I'm not going to give up. He definitely played that really well at the beginning. So, hmm. maybe I just need to start playing really aggressive since I am down like a thousand damage. This for another Expo. That's so, that's so like bad for me. I'm just going to go Tesla to, oh my goodness, he catches it as well. This is a nightmare right now for me, guys, I'll be honest. Um don't know how to kill this expo i'm gonna go ice was on zero yeah it literally connects to my tower that's game for sure um so i just i don't know what i did wrong maybe i played to what that what was my what was my mistake how did i get that lock on um i think i played too aggressively like i played an offensive expo and i gave him like really good value with archers so yeah i'm pretty much stuck rocketing his defensive expos for the rest of this game and hoping i can get a lock on but there's there's going to be no way. Maybe we can pull something crazy out. We'll see. He's going to go for a prediction at Tesla. I don't know if I agree with that play, so I'm going to go with my Tesla at the bridge on the right lane. And then we'll try an Expo log right now. Yeah, he's going to just defensive Expo though, so there's no way that I actually get a lock on. He's going to fireball this as well, because it's good value. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much game. I might just... I don't know. I'll go for one more push on this left lane, and if it doesn't work out, I'll just let him win. So, knight up high here to tank for this expo, and then just gonna go with my expo at the bridge. Gonna have no choice. Yeah, this is not good. Um, he's just gonna fireball. Yeah, that's game. I'm just gonna let him win. Um, he played that really well. Oh, we'll go in Tesla in the corner just so he knows that he can take my tower. 
So yeah, there it is. The, we're gonna be in that tight uh, pressure one game takes all kind of thing now. So best of one, basically. He's gonna be playing Queen Bow, and I'm gonna be playing Ice Bow. So this is gonna be like the final showdown. Um, but I wanna say he's played really well up to this point, and I think I've played decently well. Maybe not to like the top of my ability, but um, playing a little bit nervous, especially in that last game right there. But we're fine. We just need to walk in and make sure I play this one to like as good as I can. We did lose to Queen already once, so maybe we can like try and turn things around this time. Um, we'll see. So just gonna go probably for a log on tower. Maybe I need to play a little bit more aggressive against Queen Bow because I can't let him just dominate the game with the Queens in the center. We'll go Ice Bow or not Ice Bow, Ice Wizard for that Ice Spirit. <laughs> Saying Ice too many times. I'm just gonna go Tesla at the bridge for the Queen. And yeah, okay, that's fine. Um yeah, this is fine actually. I'm gonna go with the Tesla or not a Tesla an Expo since I do have the Tesla like one HP. He's forced to spend 7 elixir, so that's completely fine with me. Um, we'll go... Do I need to go skellies? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't need to. He's probably going to go expo. Uh, since he does have the cannon already set up. Yeah, he's going to. So I'm just going to go with knight, actually. I'm not going to... I'm actually going to try and not... Um, what's it called? Play the rocket on the expo this time. He goes for a queen, so I'm glad I didn't play that Tesla, or that would have been game right there. Literally, I would have lost right away. So, I'm um, just going to go skellies. Okay, this queen's probably going to get, like, a shot on my tower. Maybe two. Holy smokes, queen's broken. Um, so, yeah, we do get one ice with swing on that left side, though. So, we're not out of this. Like, we're definitely close in damage. So, it's not the end of the world that he gets those two shots right there. Um, it is ideal to obviously not take damage. I'm going to go with an expo at the bridge, though, just to force everything out of him. Since I do have a really awkward cycle again. We'll log this Valkyrie just to make sure it dies. Yeah, but not a great, like, start for me. I do have a really bad cycle right now. Um, he's got a pretty good hand as well. So I need to be ready for queens at the bridge, expo at the bridge, anything like that. Okay, he's at 10 right now. I know he's up, like, at least one elixir. So he's probably just going to respond to this. We'll go with the Tesla up high. Nato right away just to pull in that queen. Hopefully he dies. It's not gonna die, that's great. Um, he's gonna go for a explore. I'll just go with skellies and then rocket. He tank a little bit of damage, obviously, but it's not the end of the world right there. Um, hmm. I don't know, I'll just go for an offensive expo since he did play the cannon on defense. He's probably just gonna rocket, yeah, that's fine. So, this is gonna be tricky. It's definitely gonna be a close finish, I can tell. So, he's gonna go queen. I'm gonna get Tesla the bridge. Since it is like my best bet against the queen, to be honest. Um, nice log there as well. We can set up a defensive expo now since he already used the queen ability too. Um, so this is actually a pretty decent scenario. He actually goes for a rocket, but that's a, that's a really, really late rocket in my opinion. And we can just go knight on top of this queen. And then this goes in the center. Tesla right away, and then log too. Nice, we catch that ice spear. Ice Spear with my, um, Skellies right there, those are actually really clutch. I'm actually gonna Rocket Tower since he plays a cannon on, like, basically zero. He might Rocket as well, and we're gonna have to try and go in. Um, okay, he goes for a defensive. I don't know if I agree with that in this scenario, since I already, um, went for my Rocket before. So we're gonna log on top of the Expo, I think, to play. And then probably Rocket again. Um, actually, let me think about this. We're gonna go Knight and then Defensive Expo of my own, actually. Yeah, he predicts the queen. I figured he'd do something, and because it would be, like, the obvious play is obviously for me to go in right there, since he did use his rocket. Um, he's gonna go with a Valkyrie. I can actually get really good value out of my spells right here and go for a log. Um, queen's gonna get a shot, but it doesn't, okay, it actually doesn't somehow, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I can just go rocket on tower now. He's gonna go rocket on tower as well. I'm just gonna go expo on zero, because I know he's low. Um, he actually goes for a defensive expo really, really low. My expo connects to that right away, so that's kind of good for me. I'm going to go Tesla up high, because he's probably going to play a balcony. Or a queen. That works even better. And we're going to log this queen, actually. And hopefully I get a connection, please. Maybe not. Uh, I'm going to go knight as well, just to, like, not overcommit, but, like, make sure that he's pressured. And not make him feel comfortable. I'm going to go for a rocket right now. He's going to rocket my tower as well. I'm going to go expo right away. Um, this to protect. He goes for queen. Nice. So, we can pull it back with a NATO, and then a log. Oh, the NATO catches the skellies! That's game. 
Yes, let's freaking go. That's so clutch. Um, that NATO was absolutely clutch right there. So we're getting Rocket to finish off the game. Ended really, really close, but we managed to beat Queen Bow. That's really, like, makes me really happy. Um, and yeah, definitely a freaking intense best of five. Like, the Expo mirror matchup is absolutely crazy. He played insanely well. I played pretty well, too, I think. Um, so yeah, just overall, like, really, really solid best of five. Probably my, like, closest one that I've recorded yet. And the best, like, gameplay-wise one. Just because we're both really, really good with both the decks. Or with all the decks that we played. So, yeah. Alright, we're gonna hop into a 2v2 match, um, really quick, just talk about, like, the best of five, and kind of, like, what went right for me and what went wrong. So, overall, I think that I played, like, probably pretty solid, not, like, my best ever, but definitely, like, one of my better gameplay-wise ones. Um, so I'm just gonna go Ice Viz for the Skelly Barrel while we talk about this. Um, I wanna talk about, like, each matchup individually, so, first of all, 3.0, obviously, I've played against 3.0 a decent amount on my channel. So you kind of just have to survive single elixir. That's the goal. Like that's what I'm trying to do in each matchup. Um, is survive single elixir um, without going down below 300 damage. That's kind of what I like to like make. Not the not the like rule of my deck, but like that's the goal. Of my deck is to stay above 300 damage like deficit, so we can catch up with one rocket or two rockets at the very end of the game, obviously. So um, yeah, we did that pretty well. Um, the one time he did beat me with 3.0, he kind of just like beat me from the beginning, just kind of outplayed me, and also outcycled my rocket, so that was really well played by him. Um, but we managed to beat 3.0 the very first game, so, and then we played, next up was Queen Bell. Queen Bell, we played pretty solid against, I'd say, the first time definitely his queens got way more value. Um, we did a very, or like a much, much better job of limiting the value that the queens got in the second match right there, that we played against queen. Um, that's the key to that matchup, you just can't give him too much value with the queens, like if they get infinite value, like with the queen killing your teslas, your knights, your ice wizards even locking on your tower um it's really really easy you're just setting yourself up to lose the game so um finally was the um ice bow mirror matchup obviously i've played so many more hours than him with ice bow so it's not really like fair to him that we even played that matchup but he wanted to so um don't get um, don't get mad at me for that please guys um so i'm gonna go ice was here to help defend i kind of have a bad cycle to be honest i'm gonna go ice was right now um, perfect ice spirit from him we actually have that synergy expo synergy op and we're just nasty with it so gonna go knight in front of this but yeah in that ice spell mirror matchup what you want to do is pretty much always be chipping his tower um as frequently as you can but not too much like you always want to like i i often go with way more offensive expos than you guys would think in that matchup um, like most people play like really defensively um, but also it's good to play a defensive expo like if you're up a couple of weeks so that's always a good thing so we're gonna go log for this barrel right here. We should just win this game straight up as long as we don't like do anything stupid. So we're gonna natal log all this. Oh, that was clean. Okay, yes sir. I'm gonna give him the thumbs up because that was a clean play. And yeah, that bandit is not gonna connect because we got the Valk and the Knight down. We're broken. Um, 20 seconds left. We win this game for sure. But yeah, um, hopefully that gives you guys like a lot more perspective. Um, and obviously Aragon's a freaking beast. Like he's one of my, I'd say one of my better friends in this game for sure. Um, he's a really nice person too, so I'm glad that he agreed to this. Obviously, he has way more subscribers and everything than me. Um, and I'm not doing this for clout, I'm just doing it because like, he's freaking cracked out of his mind with Expo. So, yeah. Um, anyway, I just want to say like a big shout out to him for coming on, and it definitely is going to help me out a lot. Um, and make sure to sub, because I really want to get 10k by the end of this year, but I mean, maybe it's not realistic, but that would be pretty freaking sick. So yeah, uh, make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.